So my name is Judith E. Keene, Elizabeth Keene, and I am currently living in Washington, D.C. And I joined the um, Coast Guard back in 1977 when I graduated from high school and I uh, was accepted to the Coast Guard Academy and so I went to the Coast Guard Academy right after high school. When I joined the Coast Guard Academy or I entered the Coast Guard Academy, I was one of about 40 women. And my class, which was the second class of women, was trained by the last class of all men. And they were very proud of the fact that they were the last class of all men. So one of the things that they did was they would tell us on a routine basis that women belonged barefoot, pregnant, and in the kitchen. I know it's kind of hard to believe today, but that is what they did. And so, a lot of the women ended up leaving. Now they left for uh, many, many, many different reasons, but of course that was always underlying that you had these men that didn't want us to be there. I never really focused on that. Um, I felt that when these men said these things, that it was more of a reflection on them and their ignorance um, and their just, you know, their development. It was never a reflection on me or my abilities or um, what type of future Coast Guard officer I was going to be. Young women need to believe in themselves. Um, there are so many times when we undervalue ourselves and we try to make sure that um, you know, we have every single block checked and every single credential that we need and every single um, attribute that we need before we even try. You know, some of things look very intimidating to women, but they need to believe in themselves. When I was a National Security Fellow at Harvard University, I had the opportunity to go to a women's forum and participate in a group that was hosted by Ambassador Swanee Hunt. And so the first thing that we did was we just went around and introduced ourselves and you know, gave a few um, reasons as to why we were there and what we wanted to do. And people would start off and they would say, and these were all women, they would start off and they would say, well, in my case, I'm Judy Keene and I'm just a student and I'm just here to learn about women in America. And people would, would go around and, and you would hear that same word, I'm just this, I'm just that. And after a while, Ambassador Hunt said, no, you women need to take the word just out of your vocabulary. Don't say, I'm just a student. Don't say, I'm just an intern. Don't say, I'm just a volunteer. Don't say, I'm just a lieutenant. You are a student. You are an intern. You are a volunteer. You are a lieutenant. Have confidence in yourself and project that confidence to others. So as a Christian, I have to say that the person or the, I model my life after Jesus Christ to the best extent possible. Of course, um, I am human and I fail, but when I was in high school, I learned this wonderful quote, and it was, aim for the stars and you may not reach them, but your arrow will fly far higher than if aimed at an object on a level with yourself. And I think that is just, um, you know, a really great quote for people who are looking to their future. And what is it that you wanna do? Don't look to something that's on a level with yourself or something that's easily attainable. I never really thought of myself as a trailblazer um, for most of my Coast Guard career. Again, I was focused on being the best Coast Guard officer that I could be, and I really didn't spend a lot of time thinking about the fact that I was a woman Coast Guard officer, but instead I was just a Coast Guard officer. And it wasn't until I was actually a captain in the Coast Guard, and I was the first female Commandant of Cadets at the Coast Guard Academy, um, when I was selected to be the Honorary Grand Marshal of the Veterans Day Parade in Hartford, Connecticut. And as I was walking down the street, I saw this woman lean down to her little daughter who was with her 
point at me and say something in a very excited manner. And it was very important to her that her, this little girl saw me out there, of course, in my Coast Guard captain uniform, walking down the street. And it was then that I really understood that by blazing a trail, by being one of the first and leaving a path for others to follow, that that was gonna make a difference in someone's life. And if by being um, named as a trailblazer and my story is out there and the things that I have accomplished become out there in the public, if that even inspires one young woman to aim for the stars rather than shoot for a level with herself, then that would be amazing.